today we are going to do some multiplication with fractions. So I want to multiply one third times two. One third times two. So here's one third one time, one third two times. When we do a multiplication, then what do we do to find the answer? We're gonna put it all together. So one third times two equals two thirds. Let's do another one. Let's do two sevenths times three. And this one I'm gonna write down. So I'll write two sevenths times three. Now let's get that. So here's two sevenths one time, two sevenths two times, and two sevenths three times. Let's put that all together and calculate what we have. So two sevenths times three gives us six sevenths. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do one half times 10. So I have one half one time, one half two times. I do not have enough halves. But we have a box of extra fraction pieces on our shelf that we can use for problems just like this. So now we can place more halves out. Three times, four times, five times, six times, seven, eight, nine, ten times. All right, so I can see that we have 10 halves, which we could write like that, but look what else we could do. I made a hole, I made another hole. Here's another hole. One half times 10 equals 10 halves, but it also equals five holes, five units. When we have a fraction where the number of pieces in our numerator is larger than the number of pieces in our denominator, we call it an improper fraction. It's just, it's not proper at all. So we can't leave it written that way normally. We have to convert it to a proper fraction, or in this case, a whole number. So whenever we uh, end with an answer like that, we're gonna, we're gonna change our improper fraction to a whole number or a whole number along with a fraction. All right, let's do one third times four. So here's one third one time, one third two times, one third three times, and one third four times. So that all together is four thirds. That is an improper fraction. So we have to change it. And what I can change it to is one and one third. Now when we have a whole number alongside a fraction. This is called a mixed number. And so what, when we write a mixed number, we try to make sure the whole number is the same size as the, as the fraction and that that fraction line is right in the middle of the whole number as we're writing it. So sometimes we uh, convert a, an improper fraction into a mixed number. Let's do some more multiplication.